This is the beginning of the eclipse. It's a lot clearer by eye than it is here on the film, unfortunately, that light shining off the clouds. I'll try to get a better picture as the clouds move. can't see it because the cloud cover is in the way, but unfortunately it's reflecting the light shining off the moon, but as you can see on the left of the moon, you might be able to see it here, but it's, the eclipse is starting. A little better picture here, as you can see the eclipse is going from left to right on the moon. Actually it's advancing quite quickly. Pretty cool. Wish there was a little better picture though. The cloud cover reflects the light, distorts the picture, but wow, look at that. Look at that shadow go across the moon. Pretty cool. Cloud cover still, but you can see the eclipse is starting. Moving from left to right. This is up to the eclipse. Pull back a little. Here we are. PM Eastern Standard Time. The eclipse is actually farther along than this. The light's reflecting off the cloud cover. Hopefully the cloud cover will move and we can get a better shot. Cloud cover dissipated a little. Now you can see the red really clearly. It's clearer on the camera than it is by the naked eye. Pretty cool, I gotta admit. 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Can't see the red as much. There's a cloud cover. It's really disappointing. But 90% of the sky is cloud free. Except for here. Oh well. But it's almost 10 o'clock. Um, there it goes. Starting to focus. You can just see the red tint. It's getting towards the end. Oh, there it is there. That's a good shot. You can see the red tint really good. So we'll see a little reflection. Well, there it is, the blood moon. Oh yeah, there's another good shot there. How cool is that? This is from Bam to New York, upstate New York. It's about 10.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sunday. That is really cool. We're never going to see that again, folks, another 18 years. A little bit of cloud cover. It's not as clear as I would like it, but what are you going to do? Wow, look how red that is. How cool is that? New York, it's almost 10.30 Eastern Standard Time, p.m. In Binghamton in upstate New York. That's pretty cool. Dramatically. It's about 10.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in upstate New York here in Binghamton. As you can see the light, the redness. Is well, this is the second half of the Blood Moon Eclipse from Binghamton, New York. It is almost 11.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, as you'll see in this half of the eclipse, it's going the other way. It went dark from left to right. Now it's going light from right to left as the Earth passes across the sun, allowing the light to come in. A little disappointed earlier in the eclipse. A lot of cloud cover, but it seems to have cleared pretty good. There's some. But there it is, the second phase of the red blood moon eclipse. 
So here it is, the last half of the Blood Moon Eclipse. Pick them to New York. It is about 11.35 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can see the light reflecting. It's a little bit of cloud cover is causing that light refraction. Pretty cool though nonetheless. You can still see some of the red moon there. The uh, red reflection. The light from the passing across the atmosphere and the earth. Making the moon appear red. So there it is. We're going to cut it off for tonight I think. Started about 10 after 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it's now about 11.35. So we're getting on the last portion of the eclipse. So it's pretty cool stuff. I'm glad I got to see it. I hope you enjoyed some of the video. It was a little shaky on some of it in the cloud cover, but nonetheless, 